Okay, dissecting the uh, HP Velotechnic Grasshopper. So today I'm just going to zoom in and then try to give you a very good uh, overview of this very, very finely made uh, USS recommend bike called Grasshopper. So as you can see here, it this is a foldable version this is the way you can fold folding mechanism is here and uh, one thing i like about the grasshopper is that unlike many other recumbent this recumbent can accommodate many riders like a riders tall as 6 6.65 to the rider short as like 54 or 53 because i'm 55 and you can you can cut this, this boom and still get, can go in a little bit. Of course, there will be a, a issue of uh, the front wheel not hitting the paddle when you steer, but that can be taken care of when you turn. You know, you don't paddle; you just you not know, glide, and then that that will take care of this problem. But anyway, grasshopper can accommodate a lot of riders. So, so it is made for a very tall rider as well as for a short rider and the suspension is great especially the the rear suspension is great it works fine and i have here installed this um specially designed by hp uh company it's called body link uh seat which is a very good seat and which which can be uh kind of broken down into two pieces here you can see you can break down into two pieces and actually this also allow some kind of flexibility in in kind of uh, in changing um, the, the reclining angle of the seat here right now I put in the middle I prefer that but if you want to go for a long ride then you can you want to put on the on here so that you will have the most reclined position and uh, I like this setup because it has no derailleur and I don't like derailleur it has just one ring it's very clean uh, but I have here on the rear um, uh, Sam dual drive which is very good because uh, here we have not too many uh, hill but I have one hill um, from here like one mile I have to climb a bridge and in um, uh, in that uh, hill climbing I don't know the, the angle or the degree of uh, the slope but anyway uh, this says swam dual drive and with only one ring at the front is quite enough for me to climb that hill as well there is no problem and uh, and this uh, recumbent you can also um, unlock the steering mechanism when you want to uh, um, fold it so you so regarding folding it's very easy you just have to go here here you just loosen this and then there is another quick release here we just have to loosen this and then there's a, the, the last one so once you release that what you're gonna do is you're just gonna the seat will just pop up and as you can see this is the body link and you can see it has uh, like a two part the upper part and the lower part and if you want to take if you want to put the uh, this recumbent bike in a suitcase then you might want to maybe you know uh, uh, set this two piece apart and then and you can also take this away take this away so it will become very compact so here now this is the folding mechanism it's very easy here you just and then you here and then you unlock here is a safety mechanism even though I release the this uh, quick release but it will not it will not uh, unfold it will not so what you have to do is you have to press this down so that's just the same you have to press this down and then you have to so, so also you I want you want to release this as well here you release this and then and then you can, it can be like this, you can release like this. And here this folding mechanism, you want to pull this down. And then, sorry for my... Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. That's it. You already fold it. And then what you can do is you just have to you just have to take this up over here and then that's my car. Here, you know, with this folding mechanism, actually you don't need to you know, uh, fold the seat. I can just fit in here, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is this part is covered with the this. And it is quite easy. Thank you.